but I love to, to sit in the house and to ask questions directly to the, the, the minister. This is a job. We have to sit in the house, but if we can, for very serious reason, I think it, uh, it is helpful. Oh, I think that uh, MP should be in person in Parliament. Well, my mother passed away in November. I was in the, the hospital room with her, continuing to do work for my constituents. Uh, it was about two weeks before she passed on. And we have had to, I've been in this, uh, this house for a long time. Prior to 2020, we had no provisions for that. Keeping the hybrid house, that's the government's plan after pandemic years setting up a hybrid in-person and virtual parliament. The government wants the system to go from pandemic exception to permanent convenience, but the Tories are pushing back. Conservative House leader Andrew Scheer saying today, Justin Trudeau avoids accountability any chance he gets. He'd rather be on vacation, so it's no surprise he's permanently giving himself the ability to phone it in. So is a hybrid parliament just a reflection of our new modernized world or is this a way to skirt in-person accountability? Let's bring back our front bench panel to dig into the debate. Former premiers Christy Clark, Daryl Dexter and Dwight Ball, nice to have you back. Um, you know, just to start this conversation, Christy Clark, today on that budget implementation bill we were talking about just now, Mr. Poilievre voted remotely. So. I want to know if, and he, but he's against it. So, you know, sometimes there are contradictions. Um, what do you think about it? Is this, should this be an exception or to be able to not be in person or should it be the rule? Well, Joyce, first of all, Andrew Shear's quote, ouch, ouch, to say to the <laughs> prime minister, boy, he wants to spend more time on vacation. That was just a, um, a killer, a killer line, but I don't think it's accurate. I think here's here's how I think it could work is I think the government it works up, has to work differently for cabinet and the prime minister. I think they should be in parliament. I think the people that want to ask questions in question period at least for the first you know 15 or 20 minutes they should actually be doing it in parliament. But for the other members of parliament or legislatures across the country they are doing their jobs when they're in their constituency. And I would say my experience of it, both as, both as a backbench MLA when I was in opposition, then, a, then um, in, the, in the cabinet when I was the premier, is that ML, people, MLAs and MPs get more work done in their constituency because that is their first and most important job. It's to solve the problems of the people that they represent and then take those issues to Ottawa. And I don't think Canadians benefit from having members of parliament spend all of their time in this crazy fake bubble that is the Ottawa political community and being divorced from their home uh, communities where they can be solving problems. I actually do think, you know, there should be rules around it. You know, as I said, there could be also a uh, certain number of days that people have to be there. But I don't think it's at all accurate to say that members of parliament won't be working when they're in their constituencies and in fact i think they many of them will get more work done stay better connected and be better representative better representatives if they're in their communities uh, Daryl, I asked the government house leader if there were any rules, the ones that Christy Clark is talking about, right? Is there a certain amount of days you have to be in? Um, you know, when you're not in for weeks and weeks, do you have to justify, like, who supervises? Uh, should there be a little bit, a little bit of accountability for, you know, when you're not in, in, in the house for, for longer periods of time? I mean, this seems to be, you know, more convenient than any other pl workplace? Yes, I think the answer is uh, that there should be rules around exactly, um, you know, what is an excusable absence from the House. Uh, uh, on, uh, I mean, I do agree that democratic institutions should, should evolve and change, and I, and I don't think, you know, m many of us work online these days. It is a way to be uh, even more productive, uh, in my view, than, uh, than necessarily, you know, being in as... Uh, as uh, Christy described it, an Ottawa political bubble. It, the reality is that, you know, working 
uh, remotely uh, allows you uh, flexibility to do things that you wouldn't otherwise uh, be able to do. Uh, I do. I do think there's you know a fair amount of irony around this. I'm, I, I, I do think there is a uh, kind of an evolutionary quality that perhaps is good. But you know this is the same government that abolished the minister for democratic institutions um, that uh, originally ran on uh, major electoral reforms. Uh, the, the prime minister himself actually said that you know the I think it was the 2016 election was the last one that would ever be by uh, uh, first past the post. Uh, and and then kind of dismissed it by saying, well, people just didn't want it. Um, you know, so there, there was all kinds of meat uh, uh, there that they could have invested time and effort in in terms of uh, reforms of democratic institutions, which they just, they just haven't done. Uh, and so, you know, this one is good as far as it goes, but in my view just doesn't go far enough. Hmm. So, Dwight Ball, you know, it, it, is there... Is it is it wrong to hold them to, to the the MPs that you know represent us across the country to a higher standard? I know that people are working from home, but when they negotiated with their own civil servants, they wanted the to keep the ability for management to decide who gets to work from home and when, rather than okay. But now it seems that they can decide when they work from home or, or in their writing. And I don't mean that when they work in their writing, they're not working, but should they be held to another standard? I, I think they should. And they've asked for that right. And they've asked for that privilege because when they were campaigning, that's what they asked for. Every elected official or person has said, I want to represent you and I ask for your support to be able to do that. And so it is a higher standard. I, I, I believe uh, that to be true. Ironically, uh, I know as an elected official, people would have always said to me, if the if they didn't see you on the evening news or on some social media account, you know, in that legislature, they would say, like, when are you guys back to work? Or when, are, when is your group back to work? So lots of constituents saw the, the legislature as your place of work. So I agree that, you know, things have evolved and the new reality is coming out of the pandemic now. We've, we've uh, you know, sharpened up our technology. We found more secure ways to have debates. You know, cabinet meetings now are held virtually as well. Decisions are made and somewhat effective. But there needs to be, from time to time, could be certain pieces of legislation. But I think that every elected official th should be legislated to or, you know, through policy, spend time in that legislature just not working you know from a riding office so uh it will evolve it, i think it will be successful i had the privilege of of uh, seeing the hybrid both in the legislature uh, during the pandemic and coming out of it of course but you know many years in that legislature and i worked effectively i think in both instances christy clark the the the, the last word to you do you think the constituents of these mps uh, agree because a lot of people cannot work from home and usually according to stats can or statistics Canada it's the lower echelons of of income that can't work from home uh, and 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 they're represented by these MPs who just gave themselves the right to work so I'm wondering how do you think people feel about that well I don't think MPs should be working from home I think they should be working from their office in their constituencies or somewhere in their constituency doing constituent work i don't i don't you know you don't want to see yeah. them sitting in their kitchen you know folding laundry while they're voting in the in the house of commons but it, you know it so i think it's different i think it's going into a workplace they get in a car drive yeah. to it go to it all day just like people many people who don't work from home here do and you yeah. know kind of going into yeah. an office it's just not an office in parliament hill and for heaven's sakes if Members of Parliament are at home working for their yeah, constituents I, and fighting I've for I've got to them. leave it. I'm sorry. I've got That's to leave it there. Do uh, Christy thank Clark, you, former premiers, Christy Clark, Daryl Dexter, Dwight Ball, thank you. And that's your Power Play Day in politics. Thank you for joining us. The debate with Mike LeCouture is coming up next, right after today's top headlines.